Rubens' approach to the antique is revolutionary. So there's no other artist uh, who is capable of adopting an approach, a viewpoint, the use of the medium to classical statuary, which is so unusual, so um, different from previous convention as Rubens. And the end result, I think, are the most beautiful drawings after the antique ever produced by any Western artist. What Rubens does is he doesn't actually cram the sheet with different views of the same statue or with details from the same statue. He devotes the full page to one single statue. What he does as well is to use red chalk in an absolutely free way. You see in this case around uh, the back of the Belvedere torso, he uses uh, hatching and cross hatching the red chalk to create a dark red background against which to isolate the anatomy of the torso. What you see as well is that what he does is to exaggerate the anatomical details of the back of the torso in order literally to bring the statue back to life. So what he advocated is that actually the role of the ingenious artist is, was to transform marble into flesh in order to avoid what he called the smell of stone. And according to him, actually, artists who were never able to free themselves from uncritical copy of the antique would have retained the smell of stone in their creation throughout their life, would have been, in a way, uh, incarcerated by the antique.